so we felt that this is overall the better design. There is a tremendous amount of pressure on university students, especially those in engineering, who are the designers of tomorrow. Luckily, these second-year engineers have been able to find a bit of a release. Oh boy, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Do we feel like kids? Oh yeah. Playing with catapults, knocking over blocks. It's fun for us too, but yeah, it, it was a lot of work as well. The students were tasked with designing prototypes for exhibits at the Children's Discovery Museum. And while it did involve a certain amount of fun and games, it's also a serious business creating toys for kids. The Industry Canada Guidelines for Toy Safety is 45 pages long, which is just one concern. There's a lot of guidelines in Canada for what toys should follow, and there's a lot of specifications that the museum wanted us to follow as well, so that the toy or the exhibits came out as being attractive to children. Well, they're educational, they're open-ended, they're, they're hands-on, all of these things, so we had a really, really a good, solid design criteria for them to use, and then gave them a number of topics, um, light, sound, friction and things. Students were also encouraged to incorporate Aboriginal themes into their designs. One of our sort of core values is to bring people together in the museum, in this one and in the new one we're building in the, the Mendel building, and, and we just really want to make sure that we're authentically including all perspectives, including Aboriginal, in, in the design and to make it welcoming at all levels of the organization. The partnership between the college and the museum has its roots in a long-term friendship between Hunchak and engineering professor Rick Retzlaff who actually studied at the school together many years ago. We were actually drinking a beer one night and thought, hey, this would be kind of fun. And, uh, and it's certainly been a very good partnership. You know, there's a lot of engineering in this project. There's a lot of creativity in this project. Um, but I think the kids really picked up on it, and I think they kind of went with it and did fairly well. The exercise called on everything the students have learned so far, as fundamentally there is very little difference in the approach to designing a toy or designing a bridge. We have a design process that we follow and so first we go through what, what we want for our design and then we think of some alternatives for our design and then we finally choose our final design. And so that really helps us make a proper informed decision on what the best design would be for, for an exhibit. There is space reserved at the museum's current location for the exhibits where the real judges will get a chance to get their hands on them. And if they are successful and work well, we'll keep them in there for a while for sure. So, and also we want to get ideas ideas for other things. We're working on the design of the new facility and there's some interesting ideas come out of this, which there already have been. Uh, we might be able to incorporate some of those in the, in the, on a bigger scale in the new place. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt.